Here we are looking at the deltoid muscle. Directly here is the pectoralis major. Notice that the pectoralis major is connected to the clavicle. Then as we move around, we're going to take off the deltoid muscle. This is the spine of the scapula. Above the spine of the scapula, we have the supraspinatus, supra meaning above, and below we have the infraspinatus. It's my suggestion to do teres major, teres minor, and then the rest of this is infraspinatus. A mistake that people make is that a sticker goes here and they call it teres major, teres minor. You'll keep yourself organized if you go teres major, teres minor, infraspinatus, because it's below the spine of the scapula, and then supraspinatus. If we look on the other side, we have the subscapularis muscle. The reason it's subscapularis is because if we were over on four legs, our scapula would be pointing down like that. Isn't this part underneath the rest of the scapula? What do we call something that's underneath or below? Sub. So that's a subscapularis. Last, we have this one right here, and that is going to be the latissimus dorsi. You can see teres major here, but you can't see teres minor. This is latissimus dorsi, this is teres major.